famous toastery. Sounds good. Let me open the door for you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate that. <laughs> Age before beauty? Yeah, that's yeah. it. You're an athlete. I want to see what you're going to order. All right, I'm going to order classic French toast. That's yeah. fattening. That's perfect. That's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would like three scrambled eggs and a whole wheat toast. Thanks, Thank you. Sir. Appreciate it. You're a cup driver now. You're driving for Richard Petty. Oh, yeah. That's I mean, awesome. This is it. You finally made it. And I feel like that you've had to watch some of your really good friends. You, you know, you lived with Ryan Blaney. He got to the Cup Series a little bit before you did. Did it at all just drive you nuts? It would have drove me nuts. Mm -hmm. No, it actually didn't. You know, I, you, you look at you look at everybody's career path. Yeah. You know, there's so many different routes you can take to, to get to where you're at. I knew it would come about sooner or later. It was just a matter of what opportunity opened up the best. And, uh, 43 car. You were patient. Had to be. Awesome. Oh, perfect. Oh, man, that looks good now. That was good fast. We need to talk about you being the fourth African-American cup driver ever. Second to be full-time. That's big. It is big. If you sit there and think about it for a second, it's like, damn, that's crazy. Let me read a tweet. You wrote it. There is only one driver from African-American background at the top level of our sport. I am the one. You're not gonna stop hearing about it. the black driver for years. Embrace it, accept it, and enjoy the journey. I love that, that's very profound. What made you put that and pin it at the top of your Twitter feed? I had just done an article with Bleacher Report and there was tons of people like, you know, why is he referred to as a black driver? This is what's wrong with the sport and you know, he's just a driver and whatnot. And I get that. I'm right. like, absolutely, I'm just a driver. At the end of the day, it's media. Media's got to get their word out and try to get, the, you know, as many eyes on them as possible. So they're going to use, you know, the African-American driver. But once there's 20, 30, and it's every year, yeah. okay, race car driver from North Carolina, oh, just happens to be black. It's going to take a lot of time and a, and a lot of efforts from not only myself, but the sanctioning body to try to change up the sport, not only adding African-Americans, but adding a whole different demographic, making it diverse. It's going to be a fun journey, you know, wherever this ends up. If, it, if I'm done after a year, if I'm done after five, ten years, we'll see how the game changes. Do you feel like this conversation is therapy for both of us? Yeah, do you think so? <laughs> I'm having a great time. <laughs> Me too. Every rookie gets asked this question. What are your goals? What would make you happy when the year is over? To keep improving each and every weekend. Obviously, I want to win, but no matter where we run, I'm, I'm a cup driver now, <laughs> and that's big. Yes. <laughs>